Hello, I'm Travis Green for Rams All Access at the construction site for the new on-campus stadium at Colorado State University. Let's take a closer look at the progress that's been made. Trevor DeLong, I'm the general superintendent for Mortensen on this project. I oversee all the field operations, the main construction of the stadium. All right, Trevor, well, we, we talked about it earlier. Obviously, there's a lot going on down there. But what is the main thing or a couple main things that have changed in the past month or two that is visible right now? I think the most important part um, to, to start off with is that eight months ago, this was a parking lot. And, and look at everything that these guys have accomplished out here. In the last month or two, our biggest uh, our milestone, if you will, is setting the precast. All the stadium seating bowl that you see out there is, uh, is, is a huge milestone to, uh, to start and finish in any, any arena. And speaking of precast, can you explain to me what exactly that is? Well, it's exactly that. They, they, they precast the concrete off-site. Um, it's pre-tensioned, so it's uh, cable strands that are cast into the concrete that are, that are tensioned. They cast the concrete, and then the concrete binds to the, to, the, to the tendons to make it span longer distances like you see from column to column out there. So it comes in on the trucks, and, uh, and then they hoist it into place. Can you explain to me what is happening inside the West Tower? I consider the tower the structural steel part, portion of the job. Um, right now there's really just the steel erection, the detailing, and, and, and those types of things getting ready for the interior construction. Below the concrete level there's, uh, there's all kinds of things going on. We're, we're all of the overhead MEP, so the mechanical electrical systems, the guts of the building are being installed above the ceiling level. All the, the walls are starting to take shape down there. We call them priority walls, so they're just the walls that we need up in order to get some of those MEP systems installed. And uh, like the locker room is taking shape, the weight room is taking shape, the hydrotherapy pools are, 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 are almost installed right now. Um, so a lot of the walls and coaches' offices are taking shape down below the concrete level. Above that, we're within a month of uh, starting um, all of the concessions and bathrooms and, and, uh, and the main concourse uh, level construction. You're look overlooking this whole entire project. Um, can you speak on the challenges of doing that? There's nothing more challenging than, than building these types of structures. There's obviously the schedule constraint, but there's no typical corner. There's no um, it's, you're not building a box, it's challenging, um, the logistics are challenging. Um, like I said before, the, that first event, there's, it's not like going to an open house, it's, it's, you're going to an event where, where thousands of people are enjoying what you and your team have created. That's an awesome, awesome feeling. Doug Wilson, Icon Venue Group. I'm a project field manager. We provide project management on behalf of Colorado State University. So we work with Populous Architects, Mortensen, and so we ensure a successful project by managing those design team and construction teams throughout the process. We've all executed successful projects in the past, and we're gonna continue that success here at CSU. What eco-friendly steps are being made here at the stadium? We have incorporated LED field lighting, and so what that does is over the life of the stadium, it will reduce our energy costs by over 40%. And how unique is that? It's pretty unique to NCAA. Uh, more and more stadiums are going to that to stay with the LEED certification process and reduce their carbon footprint. Uh, but it, it is pretty unique in the NCAA. I imagine there's a ton of debris involved with this project. What do you guys do to handle that? So, they're, correct, there's a lot of debris on, on site. Um, through on-site management, through Mortensen, um, through their logistics plans on site, they're able to organize and basically recycle concrete, metal, and be able to divert that to from the landfill. Um, there's a lot of, there is over 1,500 tons of debris that have been um, removed from the site and over in about 1,200 tons have been diverted from the landfill. Well, my name is Cameron Moss and I'm a project engineer with Mortensen. So, a lot of what I do is quality control and subcontractor management. I'm working primarily on the interior finishes, so starting with the CMU or cinder block, working through the framed walls all the way on through ceiling, flooring, paint, and last finishing touches we'll be putting on the building. It's like a full circle here. You went to school here, you played football here, and now you're putting both together, the football stadium and you're using the construction management degree. What's that like for you? I mean, I'm. I'm just very proud. It's a great honor to come back here and build a stadium on campus for Colorado State. I think it's going to do 
huge things for the program. You know, getting that game day atmosphere and all that game day excitement that I experienced out at Hughes walking down the tunnel. I mean, it's going to be great to walk down the tunnel on campus, especially when you got dorms right across the street. So, stadium is very accessible to everybody. It kind of integrates the campus and it brings the whole game day atmosphere right here on campus. I think that this stadium kind of puts Colorado State on a more competitive level with some of the other stadiums that you look at around the country. And first thing that stands out to me is obviously the weight room. I mean, that weight room, that weight room's pretty amazing. You've got high quality finishes, everything that allows you to keep your mind right when you're training in season, off season, that's gonna be huge. Head coach Mike Bobo and now a new stadium coming along. How excited are you about that pairing? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm very excited about it. I think it's great. Increasing the capacity, I think it's going to do big things for the program. It's going to help in the world of recruiting, help the athletes take their performance to the next level. And I think Coach Bobo and the new on-campus stadium can really bring Colorado State football to a new level that they've never seen before. That game day atmosphere is just going to be electric. It's going to be, you're going to be able to feel it wherever you are on campus, anywhere from the dorms across Lake Street all the way over to the dorms across Pitkin and down to the east there. You're gonna feel the atmosphere and the intensity and the electricity throughout the campus. And I just think that's gonna be great for the school, the football program, and everybody involved. Well, you're all up to date on the advancements here at the construction side of the on-campus stadium. Until next time, for Rams All Access, I'm Travis Green.